It was nearly a month ago when Governor Eddie Calvo cleared his spending cuts task force list of recommendations on how to cut $43 million annually. And today the bill containing all legislative authority actually making those cuts and implementing the program was finally submitted to lawmakers. If the legislature passes it, it will give the governor the authority um, to um, reduce the GovGuam workforce uh, through voluntary separation via the early retirement program to save um, annual to make annual savings um, by re-amortizing the yearly amount of the contribution rate to the retirement fund. Um, and it will also cut uh, payroll benefit entitlements um, so that there can be even more savings. According to Governor's Director of Communication, Troy Torres, the important thing about making these spending cuts is for every dollar that's not spent on operations, it's a dollar to go to pay the debt to pay for tax refunds. It's not just a debt for the, that remains for 2011 refunds, but come January of next year, um, the, the, we're going to be um, owing taxpayers more for refunds when they start filing another estimated $100 million. In a letter to Speaker Judy Wompat, Calvo notes that the initial $43 million in cuts was critical in order to keep his administration's promise to the people of Guam to prioritize the payment of their tax refunds and the operational viability of classroom medical and safety services. He, however, notes that the Spending Cuts Task Force instead delivered a proposal that at its high end could realize over $70 million in savings. As we reported last month, the recommendations included an early retirement program estimated to cut $15 to $35 million in annual spending, extension of the amortization period to pay down the unfunded liability by 10 years with $28.1 million in cuts, reduction in holiday pay cutting over $4 million, nearly $3 million in cuts through the elimination of GFD non-productive pay plus reduction of GFD overtime to six hours, elimination of GFD incentive pay, elimination of annual leave cash out, reduction of paternity leave to industry standards, and a cap on leave sharing to 480 hours per occasion, limit to medical reasons. Torres says the administrations hope the bill will be addressed in order to be enacted for this fiscal year. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.